Welcome to Egosa Biz Blog. In today's episode, we are going to be talking about the challenges of starting a school business, um, especially in Nigeria, challenges of starting a school business in Nigeria. So far, we've done a lot on um, talking about how to start a school business, talking about the things to know before starting a school business. And we also went as far as talking about uh, um, the how to grow and sustain your school business. But in today's video, we are talking about the challenges that you are likely to face when you're starting a school business, especially in Nigeria. All right, um, number one thing is limited resources and infrastructure. Um, to start a school business in Nigeria, you're gonna be faced with this um, difficulty or challenges when it comes to resources. By resources, I mean money, and also the infrastructure on ground is um, another problem. So first of all, you need to get to location to get to school and sometimes the free location these days might even be somewhere that have bad network road network so you need to also come up with a way of making the road accessible to your school and at the same time trying to look for money to construct your school but all that um in the first video i'll talk about how to start a school business i also talked about you starting from small to grow big i explained the whole process on how you can start small and grow big so i advise you to watch that video because i don't want this video to long to be long because it's going, to, it's going to be the last video on this segment of starting a school business so you can watch that video um in the playlist or description below for that <clears throat> so you need to know that they are you are going to face with limited resources when it comes to getting enough money to start a business and also the infrastructure number two thing to number two second or rather the second challenge is you are going to be faced with when it comes to starting a school business is the quality of teachers out there we have very poor quality of teachers out there even from the educational college um sector that uh, produces them some of them are not really updated with the teaching procedures some of them see teaching as just um a side b because they didn't have the right opportunity to study their course so they just have to go for an educational course uh, so they won't look as though their mates are going to school and they are not at home so most students um rather most of the teachers that this school produces comes out with that kind of mentality and when they come out with that kind of mentality it's very difficult for them to put their mind into doing their best so you want to uh, first of all you want to know that you are or rather you need to be aware that you are going to be faced with um finding good teachers when it comes to employing of teachers for your school business and the one way to actually attract this even the good teachers one easy way to attract them or the uh should i just say one way to attract them is if your pay is even attractive and as a new uh, new school uh, you know sometimes you might want to pay below what other schools are paying especially if you're starting on a limited budget so it's going to be difficult for you to face to actually find these quality teachers out there and you're going to be meeting more of these less quality i don't want to say bad teachers but let me just use the word less quality teacher so it's a challenge when it comes to starting of a school business number three is the regulatory aspect after registering your business going through the stress of registering your business the structure getting your tax and education number you now have to apply for a license from the ministry of education before your school can start operation and that one can actually take time and sometimes it might even get declined if your school doesn't meet the standard and that's why some schools out there don't even have the license to actually run a school they are still with applying for the license while they've started teaching or started even getting students for um every student for their school so sometimes it's difficult to actually get through these regulatory challenges when it comes to starting a school business in nigeria number four is cultural expectation and community engagement so sometimes this community might prefer academic excellence rather than just innovative skills so it's not left for you to shape your school in providing this um, academic excellence for regions that prefer such then for region that actually prefer innovative skill it's not left for you to not shape your school into a hub or an, an educational institution that produces innovative student so you need to be aware of that because cultural expectation and community engagement is what will actually define if your school is going to be successful or not because if you go to a community let's say like in the eastern part of nigeria whereby they prefer innovative um skill and you go there to be focusing on academic excellence you might find it difficult to get students 
to your school so you want to make sure that your school is a reflection of what the community wants number five is financial sustainability when it comes to school um aspects you need to know that financial management is not an option and it's going to be a challenge for you especially in the new phase whereby you have to be running a school yourself most times you'll be the one as a principal you'll be the one um, representing the school as the owner the principal sometimes even the accountant just so you can get um, the cost down and at the same time try to improve the quality of your school so that can be a challenge when it comes to financial sustainability and i think i wrote something here that i want to read um, running a school is not just about a running student it's also about maintaining financial sustainability you will need to develop a robust financial plan that considered operational cost like i said the cost um, we also need to consider the staff salaries the maintenance expenses then many school owners find themselves in a situation where they struggle to meet these financial obligations particularly if they underestimate the cost involved in running a school so financial su sustainability is a major challenge when it comes to starting um, the school business and in case you are trying to ask where i'm reading from I'm actually reading from my blog, um, egosabizblog.com. Though we still have our previous blog, which is that Biz Easy, but um, we are trying to see how we can migrate to egosabizblog.com. And the YouTube channel name also changed from um, Start Biz Easy to egosabizblog.com. And egosabizblog.com is not going to change again. Even if we change our website, egosabizblog is going to be our YouTube name forever. Um, okay, so, so far, in case you want to read the article, you can just come to our blog egosabizblog.com um, and check out um, school business and it's going to be number one there so that's all about starting the school business the challenges things to know and also how you can grow and sustain your school business if you have any question just leave them in the comment section below remember to like remember to share remember to turn up the bell notification until next time see you